dude, why would you take that amount? I go, you were the one who fucking told me to take that amount. Are you kidding me? Dude, you are fucked, man. I am so fucking high. Hey, uh, my name's Petey, and I'm about to tell you a story about when I ate um, some weed cake with uh, an undisclosed amount of weed in it. Spoiler alert, it ended up being uh, way, way too much. I know this is kind of a trippy audience. I should say that uh, I have done mushrooms. I have done LSD. Nothing compares to the heaviness of this edible experience that I'm about to share. It is 2014. My two roommates were like the biggest stoners with a capital S that you've ever heard in your entire life. They were consuming like up to 100 milligrams of edibles like every single day. And to make the story even spookier, this was Halloween night, which as we know is the spookiest holiday that, that we have in America. I had just locked down a job that I was really excited about where I was working at a a really fancy dog food restaurant. I have to work tomorrow, so I decided to make the really responsible decision and not go out that night. So I get home. My roommates had befriended this girl. She had a very like mystical, like witchy vibe, Hollywood rich witch vibe. She had baked this cake, $5,000 worth of weed in this cake. This girl was rich. And my roommates have ingested some of this weed cake. And they're like, hey, you should try some of this weed cake, okay, how much should I have? And my roommate, who was like the mega, mega, mega stoner, goes, well, I had a piece an hour ago that was this big. I'm not feeling a thing. So if you wanna feel anything, what I would recommend is eating a piece that's three times the size of what I had. It was a regular size piece of cake that I ate. So we're just sitting there watching a movie. An hour goes by, I'm feeling pretty chill. Two hours go by. The movie ends. I'm talking to my roommate who is usually just like comatose on the couch. And all of a sudden, I see my roommate get up and he starts pacing around the room and walking in circles. First of all, I haven't seen him stand on his own two feet since the time we've moved in here. And then he starts to get really fidgety with his hands and starts to put them on his hips and stuff and I see him stretch sweating profusely. Dude, what is up with your vibe right now? You're like starting to freak me out. Dude, I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm getting way too fucking high right now. My stomach just drops and he starts laughing <laughs> uncontrollably. You have the highest weed tolerance out of anyone that I've ever met. You took this shit an hour before me. You took one third the amount of weed cake that I took. Oh my fucking dear lord, are you kidding me? What do you mean? And he goes, what are you talking about? Did you have some? I was like, yes, at your instruction, of course I had some. He goes, how much did you take? I said, I took three times the amount that you took. Are you fucking kidding me? He goes, dude, why would you take that amount? I go, you were the one who fucking told me to take that amount. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He goes, dude, you are fucked, man. I am so fucking high. And I just immediately start going into panic mode. I am going to die. I couldn't be with anyone anymore. I went up to my bedroom. It starts raining and I'm sitting there curled up in the fetal position and sort of just rolling around like an egg. I hear the screams of the, the party goers in the distance laughing like hyenas. I hear street cats having sex. And if you if you never heard a street cat having sex before, it's a really, really terrifying experience. Horrifying noise. I was hearing gunshots in the distance. I heard, I heard like 13 gunshots. And all of a sudden, I start to hear these very, very intimate noises coming from the wall. My neighbor was having phone sex with his girlfriend in the room next door, right next to my ear as I was trying to just drown out all the noise. He had his girlfriend on speakerphone, so I could actually hear both parties engaging in phone sex when it was some really nasty, um, nasty stuff with a lot of hyperbole going on. I was in a state where all these noises were happening in my room with me. This isn't working. I can't stay in this state forever. I need to do something to take my mind off all of this. I whip out my phone, and for whatever reason, I was compelled to search chameleon hatching from an egg on YouTube. It was in the palm of this lady's hand. It was about this big and I see the alien, or no, sorry. I see the chameleon hatching from the egg and I'm just <laughs> sobbing. And I was so emotionally exhausted by the entire experience that I finally just passed out. And then I wake up in the morning, but I go to the bathroom, I look in the mirror. I am higher than anyone has ever been in their entire fucking life. I am so high. There was no fucking way I could go to work today. I go back to bed. I sleep for like eight hours. I wake up from that, still 
so fucking high. This is how I'm going to be forever. My mouth is cotton mouth. My eyes have cotton. My whole, all my organs are now cotton and I will now have to be placed in a home for people who are also cotton people. I was high for five days. I called out of work the next two days and that was the worst experience of my entire life. Fuck that weed cake, but now I am, here I am, okay. And uh, I made it through, so here we go. Tales from the...